Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universalist 3. Um, in this part, oh, they're a vassal of Byzantium. I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, there's, uh, in this part of the session, I think I want to blow through as much as possible. Um, so we just have until 1821 left. I think we don't actually have that much, but 1821, uh, so, you know, 34 years or something like that. Not, not 34, what the hell am I talking about? 15, and then... Oh, so that's pretty close. 34. Um, anyway, yeah, you can see math is my strong suit. Anyway, uh, we want to blow through as much of this as possible. We might have one or two more sessions after this, but uh, I think we pretty much are on our way to go. Um, I'm going to be pretty isolationist in this. I'm going to return down any request for war. And, oh, Denmark is free. Uh, turn down any request for war and keep um, everything uh, I can um, together and just kind of watch everybody else do stuff. Um, uh, if Byzantium asks me to go to war, I will still go to war. But uh, I think I'm actually going to break the alliances I have with these guys. Because I don't care about them anymore. Um, my quest for the you know, the Americas is basically over. And I think uh, the Zapotecs and the, and the Incas can stand on their own two feet. Now, I can't break the uh, alliance with them yet because they're still at war. But uh, yeah, they can fend for themselves now. Um, I have done my part for them, and they should, uh, do what they can now, and see if they can deal with our children in the Americas. Um, I'm expecting most of this to revolt to Canada. Uh, I may end up selling these two to them, because, uh, you know, there's no revolt risk, and there's, uh, no rebels here, so if these revolt of these actually pop up, then, yeah. Um, I would rebel, I would use spies to rebel these guys, but, uh, it's probably not gonna matter yet until they get into a war with somebody. They're actually at war with Navarre right now, so. Um, it looks like Portugal's down to one province in, uh, in Brazil. But they still got all this and this. So, but there's a high revolt risk here. Um, and Navarrung has a lot of Colombia. So, uh, world situation's pretty favorable to us, except for the massive rebellions. Well, not massive, but the slightly small, slightly larger amount of rebellions than I would like. <laughs> that doesn't sound as impressive. Oh, also, I want to get, uh, military access with these revolutionizers so that I can get my troops out of here so I can sell it to the UPCA as I intended to do okay just let it roll what? why would they do that? that is weird uh, I guess not then. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. You guys were cool and did it. I'll sell the province to them later. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, and I might sell this one to Russia, but I'm waiting for them to get a core on it so they'll actually give me something for it. Because I invested a lot in this province. But maybe, maybe not. I mean, if it starts getting revolts or something. Or I might just release Georgia. What else would Georgia get? If I did that. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, let's release Georgia. Why would do that? Right here. Let's see, Georgia. You want a country? What it is? Well, I guess I can't. 
walls. Uh, who owns their their capital? Russia doesn't. I have no effing clue. Whatevs. Okay. Um. I'll sell it to Russia later then. pull my troops out of it, let it revolt, or whatever. But yeah, we're gonna cut here, and then come back when something more interesting happens. Uh, before the, before the end of the game, uh, we still have a couple of things to wait for. We still have to get to the, uh, revolution, the French revolution, or whatever stands in the way, or stands up for that. Um, it could be Sweden, it could be Bohemia, it could be Austria, it could be nobody. It, it could not happen in our game. Um, we are ineligible for it because our we have a constitutional monarchy, and must, constitutional monarchies are not applicable for the revolution event. So, um, yeah. A lot of troops up there. But they're at war with Blotsk, I don't know why. But maybe they just don't, uh... Don't think of them as a threat. Anyway, um, yeah, the, uh... The state of the world is pretty good for us right now. Uh, we're just sitting around, doing nothing. Um, I've decided that, uh, I don't... I'm going to wait until Victoria to make any decisions on whether... What I'm going to do with the various weirdness, weirdnesses of the world. I don't want to try to fix it. In this, for example, I'm going to make this Quebec, since the France has very little to do with this part of Canada. I am just going to make this uh, into Newfoundland, which is a country in Victoria too, which makes a lot more sense than Quebec. And if this ever breaks three, I will make this Quebec instead. So, because this is actually owned by the French or Green France, different Green France. So, yeah, that makes more sense to me. Because um, it doesn't really matter where Quebec is, I guess. But uh, it matters the French culture is what matters to me. So, yeah. Um, and Louisiana is uh, American. I changed it. I, I changed it manually to be American. And this as well. Uh, so they would be different from us, basically. Uh, I didn't change any of these guys. I didn't change these guys. But, um, because I wasn't English, I don't think it fired correctly and made them American, so I did that manually. Um, so, yeah. Um, and this country almost never forms in the game anyway, so it's not really relevant. It's not really relevant. Um, but, but I did that because I thought it would be better that way, uh, just so that not everything is Breton, and I don't get nationalism on them. So, uh, really, it's just a family to me. It doesn't really do anything. Um, yeah. So, I guess I'll cut and wait for something interesting to happen and keep killing these revolts. We got a revolt here, a revolt on here, and a revolt here. And they're just particularists, so... Uh, nothing really dangerous, but... Oh uh, yeah, the Falklands. I like the Falklands. All right. No. Oh. Cape Verde too. Okay. Well, I guess I have to deal with that. I'm wondering why they got Songhai. It was probably just because these are like the only Sunni guys left over here. No, because Ken and Bornu is also there. Maybe they were the closest. <laughs> And it was just like, fuck it, whatever. You guys are there, that's the same, right? But whatever. Okay, it looks like, uh, what? Uh, Pima, Pima has defected to Canada. That is weird. Whatever. I guess we'll make a swap. Convert or something. I don't know. Okay, two things here. Fox has defected to Canada, which is good and bad because it means that they can't get to here. And Vanilla 
Toronto has become self-sustaining. Against all odds, uh, there is a lot of guys here uh, when we started. So, with like nine things. So, yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think it's good that we got that. That's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, the uh, colonial partition grows onward. Oh, speaking of that. I should sell this place. Hey. Now we don't have a reason to declare war on the Pope. I suppose that's a good thing. Okay, so we got naval technology 46. Angelarka. Gigarilla is defected to Canada, so that's another weird one. Although Canada might get all of this, so. And then our stability increased, so we're plus two. Cool. I have dissolved my alliance with the Zapotecs, as they are out of their war now. So now we have no ties, aside from Byzantium, to the New World whatsoever, aside from the West Coast of the United States. Um. And there's islands. But whatever, they're islands. Islands are free game, man. Looks like Austria's at war with Champagne. And Navarra's being killed by Lucia. Uh, okay. Um, apparently Sweden has declared war on Russia, but we're going to say no! F them! F you guys! I guess that's a reason to... <laughs> not do that. So we're no longer allied with Russia. That's cool. Maybe they'll come to their... Maybe I'll uh, try to get an alliance with them after they're done with Sweden. They should kill them pretty badly. I don't know why Sweden would declare war on them. Probably to get their provinces back, I suppose. Maybe they thought they were vulnerable. I can't see why. Who knows? Anyway, back to... Uh, dealing with rebels that aren't in the Americas. Okay, we said some crap defect to Canada. Uh, Kiowa and Yavapai. Uh, hmm. That's weird. That is a weird, weird Canada. Whatever. And then Iowa defects to Canada. So pretty much, yeah, these provinces. I'll probably have to sell, unless they'll go through here pretty quickly, but they probably won't. And our stability has increased. So we're at plus three again. That's good. And only 1.3% nationalist revolution in Bangalore. Alright, well we got our alliance back with Russia, and it looks like something really bad has happened to Russia. I don't know. There's a lot of revolts and stuff up here. But they've got peace with the a piece of Sweden. For whatever reason. I don't know. Interestingly enough, I have a an opportunity to basically have the uh, revolution stuff happen in the Turks Islands. Which are right here. Um, I'm not going to do it though. Because I like having islands. Alright, looks like Nakota and Kansas have it affected to Canada as well. So, just this inner part of it. Um, so, I'm guessing I'm going to have to threaten Patriots if. Well, Canada should be able to do that. Um, Sell Kaskaskia to them. Actually, let's sell Illinois to them. And then we'll sell Kaskaskia later. Oh, I forgot to take it off of uh, selling it for them for money, so whatever. Oh! Huh. I was sending some ships through here to uh, 
take care of uh, the Falklands, but uh, yeah, they got killed by uh, pirates over here. So looks like I'm gonna have to send out the big boys to deal with that. Ozark has defected to Canada, so pretty much everything is defecting to Canada now. Um, I don't know why, maybe it was a saving and reloading from the end of the session thing. Um, yeah, because they're, it's a combination of the two there, I'm not sure. Whatever. Georgia Nationalists? Oh. Uh, apparently these didn't pop up in my thing. They popped up from Russia. Uh, I'll leave it go, though. Whatever. Ooh, Finnish nationalists. Swedish patriots. And Norwegian nationalists. This could get interesting. We get production tech 51. That's cool, I suppose. Okay, so Missouri has defected to Canada. And uh, I've turned off this trade thing because I, I just lost all my merchants and just got two back. Uh, it's not worth the trouble, I suppose, to do it to do that. So, whatever. Okay, what are we looking at? Kaskaskia. Boom. Okay, Arapaho is defected to Canada, so pretty much everything south there is done bolting, and pretty much this will all defect to Canada too, assuming this goes up to here, which it probably will. Um, and we have Trade Technology 46, our most neglected trade te or tech by far, um, although Naval is doing pretty badly too. Um, so, yeah, nah, not too too bad, though. We'll see uh, what's going on. Oh, I think I know what happened with Russia. They, their king died. So that's why they're sucking. Speaking of naval tech, now we've got 47. A beautiful statue. Okay, so uh, we do have a bunch of stability guys that we don't really need. Let's get... Um, Prestige guy. And an army tradition guy. Just keep our army tradition up. Good is pretty good. Ooh, ooh, a new, a new decision. The Mining Act. Increasing efficiency by allowing private enterprises to handle all aspects of mining without any governmental involvement, except for when it comes to taxation, of course. Requires us to have a sheriff, 
and our capital to have a tax assist here. We get a mercantilism gain one, which is good for us. The mining act, which is production efficiency, national tax modifier, less merchants, less merchant chance, less compete chance. But that's fine. Uh, that's great. <clears throat> this one still continues to suck because of the technology hit. But we still don't have anything good to do there. this. Another one of those stability for missionaries thing. Yeah, I'm kind of over this whole uh, war for religion thing. My legitimacy sucks. Maybe the next one I get, which I'll probably never get. Well, I could replace quest for this. And then be pretty much the same thing. I don't really need to, though. Not right now. Whoa, I, I got the East India trade route thing. Where'd it go? There we go. We had the in East Indian Indian trade route happen to us. It raises our trade income and stuff. It's, uh, uh, this. Our explorers have managed to journey around the Cape of Good Hope, establishing a new trade route for commerce. This discovery paves the ways for lucrative trade opportunities. We've done this for like a hundred million years. I don't know why, okay, whatever. That's fine. But we got this. Like, it's weird, this East India trade route. We own India. We, like, own the whole thing, except for, like, uh, one province and then the northern bit. Whatever. It looks like that war with um, Sweden really pushed them over the edge. I mean, Sweden didn't get anything out of it, but... Or at least it doesn't look like it, but they surely pushed Russia to the brink. It looked like they were doing so well against Polotsk. Well, I guess they just got a white piece with Balot because of their war weariness or something. I don't know. Maybe they, that's how their king died. They lost a battle with them or something? I don't know. I'll have to look at it later. Okay, Pawnee has defected to Canada, so... It's a... 100%. So, pretty soon we'll have to worry about that. Uh, I can move my national focus in this. Oh, a founding father there. The 10th of March, so yeah, I'll put it over here somewhere because um, I'm. I used to have a ton of things, but I don't anymore. Yeah, I lost uh, lost one here, one here. Wait, did I have one? Oh yeah, um, over here somewhere. So, um, I think I had one here. So, maybe I'll put one here, too. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm actually putting my own here now. Maybe I'll turn it back up. Whatevs. And we got Government Tech 55, which gives us Bureaucratic Despotism. Which we can't switch to, so. It's hardly, uh, something that we need to do. Think about. Um, the only thing I would really think about uh, switching to Republic 2 at this point would be if we lost our dynasty, if we lost the current dynasty, but it doesn't look like we have any chance of that happening, so I'm not too worried. And we got Land Tech 50, which means we can build a level 6 fort. Uh, there's only really a couple, well, there's only one more unit after Redcoats, and that's the Napoleonic Square, I believe. So, we're pretty solid on our units, um, and Omaha defected to Canada, so just four more provinces to go. Looks like we have a new neighbor, sort of, Catalonia. Well, it's new neighbor. I don't know if it's it's neighbor, but whatever. Uh, a new country, Catalonia. And we were getting some revolutionaries around 
a lot of them. I don't think any of these are actually counting as a French Revolution type style thing. <coughs> um, because Russia's got a lot of them too, and they don't meet any of the requirements. So it looks like Scandinavia is going to be partitioned again. That's pretty cool. Okay, Trade Tech 47 this time, and Lakota has defected to Canada. Cool. What? Uh, um. Why would they elect Sweden? That's weird. That is a crazy looking empire. Man. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh, looks like Kurlan has popped out. So basically it's done in. Um, a Republican dictatorship. So yeah, a lot of revolutionary types. Now. We'll probably see um, Finland pop too. Maybe. Speaking of revolutionary, <laughs> we hear uh, allows revolutionary republic uh, for government tech 57. 57. I have way too many universities, man. Um, and we could do this. No cost is bellay required to attack those of other government type. Um, I don't. Sh I'm not sure why I would take that. I mean, it basically, you could be the pope and like attack anyone if you get this one. <laughs> So, well, I guess the same is true of Japan. If you have, uh, um, Unim Sanctum, you can, uh, declare war on anybody. Asa? That's weird. What is? Okay, uh, Russia's declared war on Corazon, uh, which is over here. Um, or Corazon declare war on them. Uh, I decided to help them in the war because it's a minor power that's not really going to bother me. And, uh, yeah. Um, I decided not to drop my. Uh, I got these from arranging festivals because I got one of those events where I get, um, what are they called? Um, where I get, uh, one of the magistrates. I'm actually going to use, but more importantly, I'm going to use this because I'll rush this. Yeah. We are going to. Uh. Not release nations. Revoke our cores on everything. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> yes, this is gamey. No, I don't care. <laughs> um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Those are. It would not accept it. Okay, I'll give you a dollar. That's dumb. <laughs> Whatever. So I'll just let Russia deal with it or something. Whatever. And I decided I should probably help my ally with his revolution. So we'll, we'll, we'll go fight his revolution. And I'll show it. Instead of showing the war, I'll show this. Always take the taxes. Now, Austria is being weird. Actually, no. Austria is being the same as they always are. And it ends up looking weird. Actually, Byzantium is probably going to deal with it, since I accepted the war leadership. They're probably going to help out uh, Russia. What are they doing? I don't know. They're moving troops, certainly. Oh, they're probably going to go kill these guys. Or not. They might be gearing up for war against Belotsk. That would be interesting. 